If you ain't ashamed, say he's worthy. Any worthy. Any worthy. Any worthy. Well, I praise the Lord. Praise him. Oh, yes. Praise the Lord. You ought to praise the Lord. Say, oh, Jesus. Say it again. Say, oh, Jesus. See, ain't no harm in calling on Jesus. Because he's Mary's baby. He's the son of David. He's a rock in a weary land. Shelter in the time of a storm. He's a light up out of the valley. A bridge over troubled waters. He's a doctor on your sick bed. He's a lawyer in your court room. He's a mother when you're motherless. Father when you're fatherless. Whatever you need, Jesus is. Just call him Jesus. Blessed Savior. Oh, he's worthy. Oh, he's worthy. I say he worthy. I say from the rising up of the sun this morning until the going down. Come on, preacher. I said, the Lord, he's worthy. Ain't God worthy. I know, I know he worthy to be praised. But I, yes, sir, oh, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise him. Let the church say amen. amen. God is certainly worthy uh, to be praised. And um, <clears throat> God is so good to us. And uh, sometimes we are so uh, inappreciative. And God is good to us even in our bad days. And, 
even when we're doing things we know we're wrong, God is still good. And so even the sinner man ought to say he's worthy. <laughs> we shouldn't have any problem. As I, as I scan this audience, you know, I, we, should, we should be ready to, 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 to receive the benediction. Yeah, yeah, the invitation. We should be ready to receive the invitation because, because all you have to do is reflect on what he's done for you. Don't even bother with me. Uh-huh. You, just, you just reflect on what he's done for you. And let me tell you something. I'm not talking about last year. Mm-hmm. I, I can go back to yesterday. And, and, and that brother said this morning, and testify, y'all hear me? I mean, testify, uh huh, of what the Lord has done. Yeah, yeah. And and this thing, this thing, what God has done for you, is inside of you. It doesn't matter to me anymore what you think about me or what you say about me. What matters to me now is what the Lord thinks about me and how and, and what standing I'm in mean with the Lord. Oftentimes, we are so busy adding up our troubles uh, till we forget to give him our blessings. We're just all the time, Lord, woe is me, woe is me. I've been this and I've been that. Well, what about saying, thank you, Lord, because you're worthy to be prayed. Paul told those people over there uh, uh, at the uh, uh, a church uh, uh, over there in Philippi, he said, you know, he uses a word that is hard for us to understand. He uses a word, he says, rejoice. A lot of us have no clue what rejoice means because we don't see it very often. But if God is in your life, if God is taking control of your life, then he's worthy to be praised. He's worthy of all the rejoicing in the world. That's why Paul says, you know, rejoice. And then some, something must have hit him. Maybe, maybe he went off on a tangent. You know, somebody lied on me yesterday. I mean, you know, you know, you know, somebody did something to me that was unprovoked. They just walked up and did it. So now I was in a rejoicing mode before that. Because Paul tells us, you know, in, in, in the church at Philippi, he, he's trying to tell the folks, you know, don't you let folks steal your joy. <laughs> you know, <laughs> Do you not know folks to steal your joy? And then he says, then he says, then he says, don't you let circumstances. Y'all know we got some circumstances, don't we? Some of y'all thinking about them right now, don't you? You got to go back home and face these circumstances. So he says, don't let, circum don't let, don't let circumstances, don't let people uh, steal your joy. And then he says, you know what? And he says again, now I thought about this thing. Uh, and then he says again. I said rejoice. All these folks have done to me. And again, I say rejoice. Y'all all right today? Spirit is in this place. And, um, and uh, you're in the best place today to receive the glory of God. Because I believe that God is in this place. I really believe that. I, I really believe that this, 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 this service is protected by God. I'm so, I'm so, I'm so, <laughs> I'm, I'm so third heavenish. Y'all get down. Y'all, <laughs> y'all, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> I'm, I'm hovering, I'm hovering way up there. And I got this issue. I, I got this issue, and, 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 and you know, I see this thing, because Paul says, you mean, for me to live is, but to die. So, so, so if I'm a child of God, I want to get on out of this world. Because the game that we look at is different than the game Paul is talking about. 
But as long as he let me stay here, I'm going to preach his word. Good to see all of you here today. You know, it's enough to provoke tears from your heart when you know people are being blessed. It is all about people coming together, people of God coming together and being blessed. Y'all with me? And all of us in here, whether you say hallelujah, whether you say amen, or whether you say dog, cat, whatever, you have been blessed. You, you have been blessed. And so, and so, you know, I, I, you know I'm not going to be able to go long. Because this thing, I'm, I'm telling you, I'm, I'm telling you, when, when you get to another level of your walk with the Lord, man, this thing will consume you. When you, see, when you see the manifestation of God's blessings in your life, when you have, when you have the, 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 the boldness, like my dear brother, that no matter what, I'm going to serve the Lord. When you get to that kind of level that, that he doesn't care what y'all think, <laughs> I, I'm, I, ain't here to, I ain't here to please y'all. And when we can zone in like that, we we'll want some more of this. But most of us hadn't gotten there yet. But I'm still praying for you. Y'all ready to study today? I, I, better, I better get started, huh? All right. Y'all done, done completely destroyed me. Yeah. Had it all together. Prayer changes things. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, all right. All right, I, I'm, I'm going to give you the short version. You know, you know, when I was growing up, y'all young cats. Y'all still use that cats? Did you still use that? <laughs> they don't use that anymore, do they? Uh, Y'all young folks. <laughs> See, back in the day, we had this lingo that you, you know, brother. Mark. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I saw you reflecting these young folks. They're going, what in the world? There's no cats, there's no cats in here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, you, know, you know, back in the day, back in the day, you know, we had, um, we had what was called um, uh, 45s and LPs or 33s. Yeah, yeah. yeah, you remember those? Yeah. Look at that. They go again. They go, oh, well, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We put them on the turntable, spin those jams, and and um, and, and and when you go by the album, Sister Ross, you know, had the long version on there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and on the forty-five, you get the short version. We're gonna spin a forty-five today. Is that all right? We're spinning forty-fives today. Right? Y'all, uh, <laughs> y'all turn to let's 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 let's, let's look at Acts. Let's look at let's, uh, Acts. Acts chapter number 17. Acts chapter 17. I want to thank, uh, I want to thank uh, Brother Aiken for the lesson this morning. He did an excellent job. And, and then, of course, Brother Rudolph for the Bible class and Bible study. And I want to thank all of our teachers um, for what they're doing. And those of you who God is working with and preparing you uh, to work in the kingdom, uh, I want to say thank you in advance because I, I know you're on the way. Y'all all right? In the, in the 17th chapter of the, of, of the book of Acts, um, I want to I want to I want to talk to you a little while um, on this subject of getting to know the unknown God, um, b because um, I, 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 I'm uh, talking to people and uh, I realize that everybody don't know God. And, 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 and unknown doesn't mean he doesn't exist. So don't get it confused. It doesn't mean he doesn't exist. It means that some people just don't know who he is. And so, and so I'm advocating you today, get to know God. You're going to see in the lesson that there are some people way back in Paul days who are just like some of us, not y'all. But the people in our time frame, that they don't know God. 
They don't know anything about the benefits of God. They don't know what God has done. They don't know anything about God. And, and the word getting means to have in your possession. So if you know God, uh, he is in your possession. Getting, uh, uh, knowing, says, uh, is, is, is an intimate relationship of the things I know about you. I don't, I don't know a lot of things about a lot of folks, but I know Sister Williams. Y'all ain't going to say amen, y'all. It went right on around the curve, didn't it? Now, I don't, I, don't, I don't profess to know anything that's on your mind today, but I know the Lord. And so, and so Paul is going to advocate that, that we have, that we get a personal knowledge of who God is. In, in, in the 17th chapter, I got to run a little fast. In, the, in this 17th uh, chapter, uh, Paul, Paul and, 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 and Silas and, and, and Timothy, these guys were over, uh, went over here to uh, uh, Thessalonica. They began to travel to some Greek cities. And uh, while they were over there, uh, they had some contentious, uh, a contentious reception uh, by some of the Jews. And, and it got so contentious until uh, they had to leave Thessalonica and go over there to Berea. And guess what? Got down there to Berea, and some of those old crazy Jews went down there to Berea and started the same mess they did up at Thessalonica. And so what the, 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 the friends of, of Paul did, uh, they escorted him uh, to Athens, Greece. Y'all with me? And so, and so, and so even uh, over there in Athens where Paul was sitting and waiting on uh, 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 Silas and, and, and Timothy, he, he told them, you know, he says, I'm going to wait for y'all over here in Athens, uh, but y'all better hurry. Because I'm facing some terrible stuff. And, and, you know, when you face some folks who don't want to know the truth, you better be careful. These Jews that he was facing didn't want to know the truth. And so, and so when he was over here, when he got over there to Athens, uh, being the Paul that he was, y'all read the chapter, it's a lot of stuff, I, 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 I can't, I can't it, it'll just hold me up, y'all, y'all all right? It, to, to, to getting where I want to get. That's going to be long enough, I mean, that's going to be short enough. So, 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 so he gets over there, he's in Athens, uh, and he picks up a, a totally different kind of mindset. He was used to uh, uh, dealing with the Jews in their intellect. He was used to combating them, but now he's in Greece. He's going to pick up uh, some folks that thought, that thought differently from the Jews. Now, if you thought the Pharisees and the Sadducees and the scribes were a mess, you wait till you get with these Greeks. Now, I want to I wanna look at, let me, let, me, let, me, let me jump a little bit. I want to look at uh, verse number 17. Now, verse number 16. And then our contextual thought is going to pick up at verse 23, somewhere along in there, if I, if I can get there. Uh, Verse number, why I say 17? 16, all right. Yes, sir. Now, now, now Paul is, is, is waiting on, on Silas and Timothy. What else he said, Brother Bush? Y'all ever had your spirit stirred? I, I love when he said that. Uh, uh, some, some of y'all don't know anything about stirring. It's when... <laughs> It's when you get aroused about something. Brother James, when you see Sister Ann, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> exactly what I'm talking about. Something uh, ought to move you. Something ought to stir you. And the word of God is what stirs Paul. You ought to want to teach everybody about the Lord. You ought to want the whole world to know who God is. Number one, uh, I want to look at is that is that that God. Yeah, yeah. 
I want you to see that God loves us all. Y- y'all with me? He, 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 he loves us all, and he wants all of us to know him. I, I, doesn't it make you feel good when you know somebody in, intimately? Excuse me. Doesn't it, doesn't it, doesn't it, how, many, how many of you got a friend? Now, I, I'm not talking about an acquaintance now. Yeah, it's a difference. Somebody said one friend is too many. And seven, no, one, one friend is not enough, and two is too many. But how many of you have a friend that you can really talk to and be, you know, just tell them things and, and don't worry about it, getting back to anybody else? We don't have too many of them, do we? So, so God wants us to know him. And then number two, I want you to know something. Uh, 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 I want you to know something else about God. He don't need you. <laughs> he, he, he doesn't need me. And he doesn't need you. Y'all with me? And then I want you to see that God will supply all you need. I, I, want, I want you to see this. Okay, all right. So he says uh, some, 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 something stirred in him. His spirit was stirred in him. Yes, sir. Watch this now. Watch this now. It's just like Birmingham. This city of Athens is not, it's not too far from Birmingham. It's not too far from Atlanta. Whole city given to idolatry. What does he say, Brother Bush? Therefore, watch this now. Uh-huh. I ain't scared of you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Lord have mercy. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Keep going. I can't stop. Lord have mercy. Watch this now. Watch this now. Here we're going to here we're gonna get to some of the characters in the, in the lesson. All right. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now, 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 the Epicureans and the Stoics were, were, were counterparts of uh, not, not in together, but their character and how they acted was like Pharisees and the scribes. Y'all remember how the Pharisees and the scribes were always in Jesus' face and in the apostles' face trying to stop them from doing right? Well, these Epicureans and these Stoics were the same uh, uh, mindset. The Epicureans uh, were some folks. They believed that the world uh, came together by atoms. These little particles, all these little particles got together and made the earth. All these little atoms, billions and billions of little particles got together and therefore you got earth. And the Stoics, I, I, I need to tell you something else, but let me, let me move on. The Stoics were some people who believe uh, that, uh, that, that mankind uh, was an extension of earth. In other words, when God made the earth and he made a tree, when well, man came up beside the tree. <laughs> so you, you, see now, you see now what Paul's got to deal with. Y'all yeah, 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 with me? Now, this, both, of them, uh, uh, both of these groups had these dis- disbeliefs about what Scripture say. There are some people right in our world today that have different beliefs than what Scripture says. It is our job, it is incumbent upon us as ministers and teachers of the gospel uh, is to take the gospel and disprove error. Paul knew that the Epicureans and the Stoics were in error. Y'all with me? Okay, Brother Bush. Mm -hmm. Now, now, you have to be careful that you don't let folks upset you. Because folks will start calling you names. When they don't understand you, or they don't understand what you're trying to teach them, and when they see truth, they'll they'll leave the truth 
and start calling you names. Start calling Paul a babbler. I can't stay at babbler. I, I, oof. Yes, sir. Now, 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 what they're trying to say is now, now, it, over there in Athens, they had gods all over the place. It is, it is, it is predicted that they had at least thirty thousand of them, right there in Athens, and 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 they had a god for everything, and the king god was Zeus, and 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 history says that how he got to be king god is that he beat up his daddy. Y'all ain't getting it. So, so these are supposed to be gods. And so Paul has to set the record straight. Are y'all with me? All right, let's set it straight. What does he say? He said, because he preached unto them. Uh-huh, uh-huh. And the resurrection. He preached unto them what? Jesus. There are a lot of folks don't know anything about Jesus, let alone the resurrection. If you don't believe those factors of Scripture, you can't be saved. Right. Y'all can say amen. That's all right. That's what Scripture gives us. And, and the reason he touched on the uh, resurrection, because you had some of those folks uh, up there in Thessalonica that didn't believe in the resurrection. So Paul touches on it all. What does he say, Brother Bush? Mm -hmm. Watch this now. Mm-hmm. Now, 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 Ariel, uh, uh, Pegas was uh, the mountain, uh, 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 what you're going to see Paul talk about in a minute, is, is, where, is where these uh, 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 Epicureans and the Stoics met. But Paul's going to call it Mars Hill. You know, folks with, folks with all the sense, they like to be on a hill. They would sit down in the councils and, 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 and lord over the people and make these decisions. Okay, but, but I got to run. I got to run. Saying, may we know what this new doctrine well now teaches is. Now, 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 what you need to know is this gospel is not new. All right, now. Yeah. All right, now. They just hadn't heard about it. All right. All right. And you're going to see what this, this is all they did was, what they, what they do, Brother Bush? For thy bread is mm -hmm. some strange thing to our ears. Mm-hmm. <laughs> We want to know what in the world are you talking about? Go ahead. For all the Athenians. Yes, sir. Watch this now. Watch that. Uh huh. Since that time, the Lord failed, but we were prepared or to hear some new things. We want some new stuff every day. When I was working, uh, I, was in, I was in what was called the circulation department, and we circulate stuff. Y'all got that then? <laughs> wow. <laughs> and, uh, and what they would say was, every day we came to work, they would say, if you have not heard a new rumor by 10 a.m., start one. <laughs> they wanted to hear something uh, every day, even though it was unproductive, uh, they just want to hear it because they want to know everything. You can't know everything. Let me run. Let me run. Let me run. So watch this now. Now, now, now. Here, go, here goes Paul. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yes, sir. Now, 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 now Mars Hill, same thing is Agapius. Uh, 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 it's, it's the same thing. So Paul stood up. Now, you got, a, you got a picture that you got all these philosophers sitting here. They know everything. You got them sitting right here, and the Bible says Paul stood up right in the midst of them. Don't let anybody uh, uh, coward you down uh, when you have the truth. You don't have reason to run from anybody. You got God's word. So the Bible said, here's one little Paul. Silas and, and Timothy hadn't even gotten there yet. But Paul, when he saw this error, I don't have time to wait on them. I got to tell them the truth. 
And so the Bible declares he stood up. Mars Hill. And said, watch this now. You men of Athens. Men of Athens I perceive Lord have mercy. That in all things, watch this now. You are true superstition. You, you, let me, you know, do you not know we got superstitious folks in the church? Somebody told me on New Year's Day, a man, what, what is it? Uh, a man, a man got to come in the door first. Yeah, a man got to come to your house first. A woman can't. That's superstition. Black cat cross your path. Now, grandbaby, I'm walking down the street. She grabs me and pulls me. I said, what do you do that for? Papa, you can't split a post. <laughs> and do what? <laughs> Step on a crack. Superstitions. And some of us have even bought into them as true. Black cat don't have anything to do with your look. Break a mirror. Seven years. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I broke quite a few myself, right? So Paul says, number one, this stuff you're talking about is not even scriptural. It's superstition. And we have folks that have started religious organizations on superstition. Not even truth, not even scriptural. I got to run. What, what does he say, Brother Woo. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Listen, he says, he says, you know, I saw your devotion. He said, you know, y'all were some committed folks, man. Do, do, you know, you know, uh, if, if, if we could get some folks discommitted to the known God. Y'all ain't going to say it, man. That's all right. If, if we had some devotion, some committed folks to the known God. Man, we can move some mountains. So he says, what does he say there? Uh-huh. To the unknown God. It is reported that they had so many gods that some of them they had forgotten. And they had forgotten the true God. Because they're running around with, 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 with the goddess Diana and, and Zeus and all these folks. Till they had forgotten who God was. And some of us, God has brought us from, from, from can to can. And now we act like we don't need him. Now we act like we don't even know him. You're just like these Athenians who said we don't even know him. Are y'all with me? Sister Thomas, I see you. Lord have mercy. Good to see you, Sister Thomas. Yeah, I saw your face. You were hiding back there. I see your face. Good to see you. So, and, and some of us, let me tell you something. I, I was talking to my brother the other day. You know what? God has a way of showing you something. You, 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 you keep sitting up in here with your austere look. Like you somebody. That's what was going on here in Athens. These folks thought they were somebody when they were nothing in the eyesight of God. Don't worry about, doesn't matter about your level of education. It's what you know about God. Here they professing the unknown God. Now watch Paul. Mm -hmm. you, you know what? It's a terrible thing to be ignorant. An ignorant person is a dangerous person. A person, a, a, a person in front of you with an automatic we weapon that doesn't know how to operate it. He doesn't know what a safety is. He doesn't know anything. And he got it. Let me see how he works this thing. <laughs> 
It's dangerous to be ignorant. Ignorance says, I don't have a clue what it was about. Now, ignorant doesn't mean stupid. It just means that maybe on a particular subject that you're not familiar with. And Paul is trying to tell them, I'm not here to insult your education. I want to tell you about salvation. So Paul begins uh, to help them uh, with salvation uh, because they already had education now. And you would think with the kind of education that they had, this wouldn't take long. What does he say? I got to go. I got to go. Him. He says, he says, you may not know him, but I know him. You may never have heard of him, but I know him. I can tell you something about him. I can tell you when I was lost in my sins, he picked me up. I can tell you when folk try to kill me, he got me out of there. So Paul says, I'm going to declare. Declare means make it publicly known. So he said, I don't care who hears me. I'm going to tell it. So he says, I declare unto you. What else? God. 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 You see how Paul takes unknown off of it the first thing he does? God. Number one, he wanted it to resonate with them that you may call him the unknown. I call him God because he's God all by himself. What does he say, Brother Bill? Watch this now. The maid, the maid says uh, that he formed it with his own hands. The Bible declares uh, way back before these little uh, Epicureans uh, or the school of uh, uh, the, 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 the school of uh, 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 Epicuric uh, ever started, uh, the Bible says in the beginning, God. It's, it's, it's synonymous with made. God created. So, Mr. Epicurean, with your Adam theory, where are you going now? God created the heavens and the earth. You see this earth we own? God created it. You know, there's air you breathe. Y'all don't know about air you breathe? God did it. God put everything on this earth for you to survive. God did it. Even the atoms come from God. Everything that was made and formed come from God. Do you not know, do you not know that God put a shield around earth called a gravity shield? If it wasn't for the gravity shield, we'd float on away. And so we're running around here talking about a Big Bang Theory. <laughs> talking about the earth just boom. Well, who, who, who let the bang be? You, got this, you, you have this theory uh, about Darwin, this evolution theory, that a man began to hear. Well, he began, didn't he? And so how are you going to have a man explain to God what he's all about? Right. <laughs> Psalms 19. I, I, I'm not going to finish. I'm not going to finish. How many verses I say? A bunch of them, right? Okay. I, I, I'm not going to get there. I, I don't think I can make it this weekend. Psalms 19. 
Verse number one. Let's, let's do maybe through five. Yes, sir. Psalms, Psalms. You in Psalms? Oh, that's all right. That's all right. Psalms. That's all right. Y- y'all got somewhere to go? Hold on, brother. I mean, hold on, brother. Y- y'all got somewhere to go? L- let me know. And let me know now, and I'll ask God to excuse you. You, saw, you see them hands. <laughs> Psalm, 19, Psalm 19. Uh-huh, watch this now. Uh-huh, read. The heavens declare. I have never, ever read where the heavens declare the handiwork of a man. Read, brother. Uh-huh. Uh huh. The glory of who? God. Let me set it straight. The reference is God. What did he say? And the firmament. And the firmament. Showeth his handiwork. Listen, listen. <laughs> this, this, this little earth that you're living on is like a yo yo to us. This, 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 is just, this is just something. God says, you know what? I can do this in uh, six days. <laughs> he would have earth, man, handiwork. Mm-hmm. What else he says? Day unto day, mm-hmm. unto his feet. Well, I, like, I love this. Yes, day unto day, unto day utter it. Speak. It talks. Mm-hmm. They talk. Mm-hmm. And you know who understands what day and night say? All right, night. Son says, time for me to come up. Get on. <laughs> come on, brother. Ding, ding, ding. <laughs> and night unto night. See, I told you. Show his knowledge. I, I, night got knowledge? Yes, sir. It, 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 it don't come up before it's supposed to come up. No, sir. <laughs> y'all, ain't, y'all ain't seeing me. You didn't do it. Yes, come on, brother. You know, I got you. There's, nor language. Th- there's, there's no speech. Nor language. Nor language. Where their voice is not heard. Keep on going. I can't. Their mind is gone out to all the earth. Uh-huh. And their word to, to the end of the world. All right. In them have he set a tabernacle for the sun. All right. That's enough. God, the earth is part of God's handiwork. Man didn't have anything to do with it. Y'all with me? Yes, All right, let's go back to act. I got to close out. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Seeing, watch this now. Seeing that not only he is the master, he tells folks in heaven what to do and folks on earth what to do. How many of you? Half of us can't even tell nobody on earth what to do. When God uttereth something, it's going to happen. Amen. Let me get you. All right, go ahead, Brother Bush. Listen, listen. That's, that, that, a, a building can't hold God. So, so, so if you're thinking that your little righteousness in this building is all that attached you to God, you're wrong. This, 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 the buildings can't hold him. He's the God of Russia. He's the God of China. He's the God of Africa. He's the God of Japan. He's everywhere. So Paul says, you need to get to know this God. Because you're going to be traveling somewhere. You're going to be, you're going to be on vacation somewhere. And you're going to get sick. Turn, turn. I, I, I love this story. Uh, First Samuel. Yes, sir. Chapter five. First Samuel, chapter five. I, I'm, I'm going to close. I'm, I'm, I'm going to skip a verse and close because 
it's, it's, it's winding up, y'all. Y'all, y'all got me too high. And, 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 and God is just is resonating in my soul. I love talking about God. I, I just don't. I, I, I just can't get enough Amen. talking about God. First Samuel chapter five. Yes, sir. Verse number one. Uh, watch this now. Now, 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 let me, let me, let me, let me give you a little qualifier here. The ark is like having God in the midst. That's what, that's what, that's what it was for with Israel. It's, it's like God right there in the midst of them, okay? So, 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 so here we go with, the, with, with God, and then we got Philistines, right? All right, what did he say? Uh-huh. Now, what, now, 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 now. You, you remember all those false gods we talked about? Uh-huh. Now, this one of them. Uh-huh. Now, now, some of some folk worship these kind of gods. You remember when he says, you know, I, I'm not a god that can be worshipped with hands. Right. Hands don't touch me. Don't your, your hands can't get to God. Aren't you glad that you can't get to him? Right. Aren't you glad that robbers can't get into heaven? Aren't you glad that cutthroats and, and rapists can't get into heaven? So he says, he says, oh, here in, uh, yes, sir. Uh-huh. Now, now, Dagon is the god of the Philistines. Y- y'all with me? All right. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Wait a minute, wait, wait, wait. Wait. But, but he's a God. Suppose you went to God and you found him laying on his face. What hope would we have? We stop praying to him? What if you went to God and, 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 and his wrists and his hands were scattered all over the place? What hope would we have? What did he say, Brother Bush? Uh-huh. Yes, sir. He, he fell before, what did I tell you, the ark was a piece of God in their midst. So now this, this guy has fallen. And what did the commercial say? He can't get up. <laughs> now, 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 this is, this is the refuting now. Don't, don't miss, the, don't miss the, the, the point of the lesson. This is refuting the, 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 these, these folks that are saying they don't know who God is. This is still in line of showing who God is. Right, what does he say, Brother Bush? So they took Dagon and put him in the grave again. They, 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 <laughs> they put him in his They put him in his place again because God has fallen. And he can't get up. So man had to come in and pick God up. Come on now. What does he say, Brother Bush? Let me cross. Yes, sir. Uh huh. You mean you mean he fell twice? Uh-huh. He fell again. <laughs> but he's a god. Keep on, brother Bush. The what? Isn't that sad? Isn't that sad that men will worship a stump? The first thing, when I, when I saw him the first time falling over, and I, I knew then, you ain't God. No, you're not God. 
I got close, but I got close. Let, let, let me close. Let me go back. Let me see what I need. To. Let, me, let, me, let me skip. What verse are we in, Brother Bush? 25. Okay, listen. Let me, let me give you this. Let me give, let me give you a couple more things. In verse number 25, where he says, um, he says, um, as though he needed anything, uh, seeing he giveth to all uh, life and breath and all things. God is what's called intrinsic, which means he is a source within himself. He doesn't go outside of himself for anything. What man do you know is a source within himself? What man do you know that can give life? So, so, so Paul says, uh, I'm serving this God uh, because he is a source within himself. He doesn't need any help. He doesn't need any aspirins. He doesn't have to go for his annual checkup. He doesn't get cancer. He's God all by himself. He's got healing within him. That stuff can't get to God. Jesus didn't have a cold. We were out here talking about the flu. Flew by down to Jesus. And so, and so now here we have this thing that we're worshiping men. Why? Let me get to it. All right, so, so I want you to drop down to, here's, he, 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 he wow. I want you to go home and read the rest of this, please. So Paul says, let me close out, let me close out. Because this thing will carry me over. It will carry me over. I, I, I want you to, I want, you, I want to sum it up. Then I'm going to give you an affirmation verse. I want you to look at verse number 28. Now, Paul says, if this was all that I had, it would be enough. Paul says, I'm a witness to this because I've seen him in, I've seen him work. And so in verse number 28, Paul preaches to these uh, Athenians and the Epicureans and the, and the Stoics and all these Greek philosophers. They all heard the same thing. Paul says, in him. Lord have mercy. Watch this now. Don't you miss this. For in him, in who? In God. Number one, we live. All right. All right. Is that what the book says? Uh -huh. Number one uh, is because of God uh, that you're even here today. You didn't wake you up this morning. You can't even get you to work on time. First little hurry, we go to the doctor. So the book says uh, it's in him. Now, 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 let me, let me say this. Let me say this. Let me tell you how good God is. He says, in him we live. What else? We move. You, you, know, you know when you say, hey. You know who did that? Every time you move, you know, when you wake up in the morning and you, oh. Before you can get to the mirror and straighten yourself out and face, face looking all kind of. You know who got you up? And you over there slapping the alarm clock. In him we live. Every breath that you take, God. Exhale and inhale, God. The dexterity in your body, God. Not only in him do we live and we move. Watch this one now. Listen. Listen, do you not know that God could take us out when he gets ready? I think about that sometimes, and I think about, you know, you know why, why haven't you killed me yet? 
I don't, I, I, I don't, where I'm living, I don't deserve to live. But he's a merciful God. Let me show you something else. In him we live, we move, and have our very being, our very being, not only talking to Christian folks. Ain't God good? So God has enough grace for you that he still allows you to, hey, he still allows you to go to work and punch the clock. He still allows you to drive yourself home without running over anybody. He still allows you to eat, digest your food, put on your clothes, put on your shoes every day. He allows you to pay your bills, put gas in your car. but he can't get you to come every Sunday. He can't, give, he can't get you to put, 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 put funds in the plate. And some of you got fat pockets. That, that old, that, that old, that, that's, that, that's old too? It's, 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 it's still work. Watch it. Let me say it again. In him we live. We move and have our what? You're sitting here because of God. Now, let me close out. Let me, let, me, let me show you, let me show you what standing for God can do for you and other folks. The last last two verses. Yes, sir. And I gotta close. Now, 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 he's taught them the truth. And when you tell folks the truth, that's all you have. Don't you stay with folks and try to make up stuff for God. You tell them the truth and you let it go. You plant the seed and be on your way. Y'all with me? What else happened, Brother Bush? How be it? Watch this now. Watch this now. They did what? Somebody that believed in Adam's creating the world. Somebody who believed that that man grew up out of the dirt just like trees. Somebody who didn't believe in the resurrection called Paul. He said, you know what? I believe in the God you're talking about. That, that unknown, what they're talking about, they can have that one. I believe in God. And if you accept God, you have to accept his son, Jesus. You cannot have one without the other. Jesus said one time in the long ago that my father has sent me and he has not left me alone. And I do everything to please him. If you want God, you got to have Jesus. You want Jesus, you got to believe in God. Jesus promised to build a church. His father is the gatekeeper. His father uh, gave him the authority to say, gave his son the authority to say, and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. That's one of the most powerful statements in scripture. Where he can keep the forces of hell at bay. Now don't you know, don't you know that Satan wants everybody to go to hell? But, 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 but the father said, you know, I got some folks that when they accept me and follow me, yeah. I'm going to protect them. Yes, you can't get to them. But once you get outside of that protection, you're a done deal. That statement, the gates of hell, does not apply to you. So when you get outside of the scope of Christ, the gates of hell will, uh, will gobble you up. If you want to be saved today, if you want to start your journey 
toward heaven. If you want to start this journey toward getting where God is, where you don't have to worry about trouble winds and you don't have to worry about any more sickness, wouldn't that be grand? Well, sickness has no place there. Bills have no place there. Smith and Gaston and, and, and Chambers and, and, and East Side and West Side Funeral Home, they can't come there. They won't be allowed because the only thing there is life because you're, the, you're with God and the Bible says he gives life. You can't take life from him if you try. He's full of life. You want to be saved today. You come by hearing the word of God. You come by believing it. You come by repenting of your past sins. You come by confessing Jesus Christ, Lord and Master. And then you're a candidate for baptism where we'll baptize you on today. And you'll be added to the body of Christ according to scriptures, uh, Acts 2 and 47. Uh, but God is not going to lift you up out your seat and put you in that pool. You're going to have to do this on your own. And once you do that, the Bible declares that you shall receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. Those of you who are in the body of Christ, you have errored. Something happened to you where you, you turn your back on the Lord. I invite you today to come back to him before it's everlasting too late. Don't wait until judgment because that's too late. You need to start today and change your life. The Bible declares, I tell you, Nate, that except you repent, you shall all likewise perish. The Bible says if you will confess your sins, he's a God that's faithful and just to forgive you of your sins. Not only that, he'll cleanse you from the things that you have done. That's a good God. Because some of us have done some stuff. And God is telling you today, I'll clean you up. Hey, why don't you start your new life today? What's wrong with today? What's wrong or what excuse do you have for not starting your new life today? If you have an excuse, then you need to tell God. Because right now, you're on grace and mercy. You know, we talk about in him we, we, we live, move, and in our very being. Well, tomorrow that could stop. All of that could come to an end tomorrow. All of that could come to an end today. Amen. If you believe in God, Jesus said, believe also in me. Come to him today before it's everlasting too late. Let's get a stand. Sing the song that had been selected for the invitation. Let's get a stand. Start walking now. Start walking now. Start walking now. I won the toss. Start walking now. Away come to the Lord. From come on down these aisles and come to him. Now come on, come on. I'm coming. Home. You tried it your way. The path Where did it get you? Sin. Come on. Too long. I've trod, oh Lord, I'm coming home, yes, coming, coming home, Lord, I'm coming, come on, coming home, give me your hand never, and God your heart, your heart, never more. Tell him you're ready to change. Come on and tell him, tell him today, I'm ready to change. I, I, I know you're keeping me. You, you kept me thus far. You kept me for a reason. Look, look, look. When death overtakes you, that's the end on this side. Then the Bible says there's a judgment that's waiting on you. I'm coming home. I'm coming to me. Let me you come to the Lord. Pray. Scripture proves Just here. Now that the body of Christ, the church of Christ is right. I am coming home. I now repent with bitterness. Don't you want to get to know the Lord today? Come on. I'm coming home. Yes. Last call, last call, last call. Last call. Last call. On home. You may never have this opportunity again. Lord, 
when you stand before the Lord in the day of judgment, it's too late to be baptized. It's too late to repent of sin. It's going to be judgment. Only thing you're going to receive is the, uh, 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 the cost or the judgment or give an account of what you've done in this world. That's it. That's it. Open wide. No more brothers and sisters out here. No more brothers and sisters. I want to be baptized. It's over. Come on. Oh, Lord. I, I'm coming home. I am tired of sin and strength in law. Now I'm coming home. I'll trust thy love and believe thy word. Oh Lord, I am coming home. Yes, I'm coming home, Lord, I'm coming home, never, never more to roam, oh, open, open wide, thou Oh, Lord, oh, Lord, I'm, I'm coming home. My soul is sick. My heart is sore. Now I'm coming. Home, my strength renewed, my hope restored. Oh Lord, I'm I'm coming home. Yeah, yes, coming. Lord, I'm coming, coming home. Never more to go. Oh, oh, open, open wide thy arms, thy arms of love. I have several prayer requests. I read them to you here. We ask that as we read your name that you be standing. We'll read your prayer requests. And at the conclusion of that, we're asking that everybody pay heed to these requests. And let's go to the Lord uh, together in prayer. And also remember these prayer requests throughout your week. Betty Crawford, she's thanking God for all of his blessing. Uh, she's asking prayers for spiritual strength, wisdom, prayers for travel and grace. She's also asking that we pray. Uh, for God's guidance in making some business decisions. Elijah Bush Jr., uh, he's admitting that he has sinned and has repented. He's asking prayers, spiritual strength, wisdom, prayers for renewed health, prayers for personal needs. And uh, he's asking um, whether omission or commission, uh, whether words, thoughts, or deeds. Burnell Smith, and she's thanking God for his many blessings, asking prayers, spiritual strength, wisdom, and prayers for personal needs. Wayne Tatum, he's admitting that he has sinned and has repented, uh, asking prayers, spiritual strength and wisdom, and prayers for personal needed needs. That's Harry Tatum Sr., that's correct? Amen. Receive. Anita Gordon, uh, she's thanking God for his many blessings. Uh, she's asking that we continue to pray for her sons, Malik and Mikael. Prayers also for spiritual strength, wisdom, and renewed health. 
sister Bay and Silas. Uh, she's thanking God for his many blessings. Uh, she's asking that we continue to pray for Sister Gloria Harris and uh, Alea. And she's also asking prayers for Sister Fred Wisdom and Renee's Kelly. Brittany Foster. Uh, she's admitting she has sinned and has repented, asking prayers for her sin remits. Gloria Lowe. She's asking prayers for spiritual strength and wisdom, prayers for personal needs, uh, prayers for two co-workers' families, um, the Chrysler and Cunningham. Uh, Joseph Atkins, the rapper. She's asking prayers for renewed health, also prayers for sickness in this family. Rafita Carlson. She's asking prayers for spiritual strength and wisdom, prayers for renewed health and personal needs. Serena Griggs. She's asking for her spiritual strength and wisdom, also prayers for traveling grace. And she's asking that we continue to pray for her and her family. Brother Walker, he's admitting he's sinned and has repented, asking, for spiritual, asking prayers for spiritual strength and wisdom, prayers for sickness in his family and personal needs. Sabrina McIntosh, she's admitting she's sinned, she's repented. Uh, she's asking for her spiritual strength and wisdom and personal needs. Mr. Lee Hopkins, Hobson. She's asking prayers for sickness in her family. Uh, she wants to thank the church for our prayers. She says her mother's surgery was beautiful. Uh, she says, please keep her in your prayers. Sister Flores Shaughnessy. So Sister Wendy Thomas. Uh, she's asking prayers for renewed health, prayers for sickness in her family, for her sister, uh, Rita Graham. Lisa Henderson. Uh, she's thanking God for his many blessings. Also asking prayers for spiritual strength, wisdom, and guidance. Uh, she's asking prayers for personal needs. And she's also asking prayers for Barbara Anderson and a successful surgery. Uh, Clementine Sneed. Uh, she wants to admit that she has sinned and has repented. Uh, she's asking prayers for spiritual strength, wisdom, prayers for renewed health and personal needs, prayers for her work environment. And she's also asking that we pray for her kids grandkids to get closer to the Lord. Bianca Walker, she wants to thank God for all of his blessings. Uh, she's admitting she has sinned, has repented. Uh, prayers for spiritual strength, wisdom, prayers for sickness in her family, asking prayers for traveling grace for Dion. And she's also asking prayers for uh, Sister Cora, also Sister Daisy, Sister Nellie, Sister Julia, Sister Molly, Sister Kater, and Sister Tracy. Ina Walker, uh, she'd like to thank God for all of his blessings. Uh, she's asking prayers for her family and for her work environment. Uh, she's also admitting mean, she's sinned and has repented. Prayers for spiritual strength, wisdom. Uh, prayers for renewed health. Uh, prayers for the families of Pierre Cunningham, who passed away yesterday morning. Uh, she's also asking prayers for sickness in her family. Ms. Louise Madison. Uh, she wants to thank God for his blessings. She's asking that we continue to pray for her family, her grandchildren, her children, her neighbors, and her workplace. She's requesting prayers also for spiritual strength, wisdom, and personal needs. Chris Steele. He's asking for prayers for his brother in Atlanta, Georgia. Uh, he's also in he's seen, he's repented. He's asking prayers for renewed health and personal needs. Demetrius White. He's asking uh, prayers for sickness in his family, and he's also admitting he has seen and has repented. Teresa Kirk, uh, she's admitted she's seen and has repented, asking prayers for spiritual strength, wisdom, and personal needs. Brother Jay Bonner, he's admitted he's seen and has repented, uh, asking prayers for spiritual strength, wisdom, and sickness in his family. Uh, Nadine Hicks, uh, she's admitted she has seen, has repented, asking prayers for spiritual strength, and wisdom, and traveling grace. And Celestia Mills. She's admitting she's sinned, has repented, asking prayers for spiritual strength, wisdom, and personal needs. Let's also remember those who are sick and not able to be with us here today. Let us bow. Father God, in the name of Jesus, God, we're grateful to you for your many blessings. God, we're grateful to you that you've allowed us to be here, God. And we're grateful that you've allowed us to praise and worship you. God, and we're just praying that every heart that have worshiped, have worshiped in spirit and in truth. God, we're thankful for your, your love and your your care and concern that you have for your people, God, how you've watched over us every day. God, we're thankful even for your grace and for your mercy. 
God, we're thankful for the message that have gone forth. God, even for your manservant, God, we're thankful for him and his family. God, we're thankful even for his studies, God. And we're asking that you continue to bless him, God. Give him words uh, that come from your, your written word, oh God. That he may be continue to proclaim your gospel. God, that he may continue to walk uh, the life that you would have him to walk. God, even for all of your men serving, all those who uh, proclaim your word, those that teach your gospel, God, we're asking that you continue to give them wisdom and knowledge, God, as they as they proclaim uh, this gospel, God, as they proclaim uh, Jesus Christ, God. You, you allow them to continue to plant seeds, God, that may grow up to bear mighty fruit. God, we're just thankful for all the requests that have been made on today, all of the hearts that have uh, uh, submitted a request, God, even the ones that may not have submitted, God, but in the heart. Uh, they had something on their hearts, God. We're asking that you have blessed them first, God. Let them know that, that you love them. Let them know that uh, you're still a, a God that, that, that gives, God. You're still a God that knows everything that lies on our heart. God, even, even for those that may not have even known what to ask, God, we know that you said that the Spirit searches our hearts, God. Even the deeper things of God, he, you, will, you, you will bring those things out, God, and, and help us in those areas, God. God, we're asking for those that have asked for prayers for uh for sin, for sin, those that have repented, God, we're thankful for the, the gift of repentance, God, the opportunity to come back to you, God, to turn our lives back around, God. And even while we're trying to do so and walk uh, worthy of your calling, God, we just ask for your help in the meantime. God, and we're asking for those that have requested prayers uh, for spiritual strength and wisdom, God. We're so thankful for your word, God, for you tell us in your word that, that, that we should study to show ourselves approved unto you. God, so as we study, God, continue to reveal and show us your truth, so God, that we may live this life uh, according to your will. God, and we're thankful for those that have asked for prayers for uh, renewed health or, or sickness in families, oh God. God, we're just praying for a restorance of health and strength. Those that are sick, God, we got many that are out, uh, that, are, that are struggling with various things. Those that have gone through surgeries, God, we're asking that you restore them a reasonable portion of health and strength, God. And even those that are, are, are caretakers, God, we're asking a special uh, prayer and strength for them, God, as they help to uh, nurse your, your people back to health, oh God. God, even for those that are asking prayers for personal needs, God. God, we need you every hour, oh God. We need you so much, God. It, we can't even ask you how much we need you, God, but you know, you know how much we need you, God. So we're asking that you continue to, to give us the things that we need, God. Continue to give us even the things that we want according to your will. God, we're grateful even for this congregation, this church, and this body that meets here, God. Uh, just striving to live right, God. Striving to do your will, God. Do your work, oh God. And God, we're, we know that the, 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 the harvest is plentiful, God. But we know that the laborers are few, God. So God, we're just, uh, we're just asking that you help commission the, la uh, the laborers, God, to go out into the vineyard. God, we're thankful even for your service, all that we've done on today. God, even we, we know even the things that we've done is not enough, oh God. And we ask that you just look down on our hearts, God, and, 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 and see the love that we, we have for you, God. We're thankful to you and everything that you're going to do, even as we go through the remainder of the service. God, the things that uh, we say, God, even as we commune, even as we uh, give, God, just, just allow us to do it in a way that's pleasing to you, God. We're thankful for all that you've done, and it's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Come to this place now, church, as we give back the part that the Lord has so richly given to us. <clears throat> and scripture will be coming from Second uh, Corinthians chapter nine, verses six through nine. And the Bible reads, But this I say, he that soweth fair tree shall reap also fair tree, and he that soweth bountifully shall reap also bountifully. Every man, according as he has purposed in his heart, so let him give, not grudging or necessity, for God loves the cheerful giver, and God is able to make all grace abound toward you, that ye also, having all sufficiency in all things, may abound to every good work, as it is written, 
you are our first authority. He has given to the poor. His righteousness remains forever. Now we pray for our church.
Heavenly Father, we thank you for these songs that we have received. We ask you, Heavenly Father, let the, the leaders of this congregation use these songs to build your kingdom here on earth. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Now have, we have come to the, the part of the service that we commune with the Lord. In reference, it comes from 1 Corinthians chapter 11, verses 23 through 30. In the Bible reads, For I have received of the Lord, that which also I deliver unto you, that the Lord Jesus, the same night in which he was betrayed, took bread. And when he had given thanks, he brake it and said, Take, eat, this is my body which is broken for you. This do in remembrance of me. After the same matter, also he took the cup. When he had supped, saying, This cup is the new testament of my body, in my, in my blood. This do ye as often as ye drink it in remembrance of me. For as often as ye eat this bread and drink this cup, ye do show the Lord's death until he comes. Wherefore, whosoever shall eat this bread and drink this cup of the Lord unworthily shall be guilty of the body and blood of the Lord. So let a man examine himself, and so let him eat of that bread and drink of that cup. For he that eateth and drinketh unworthily eateth and drinketh damnation to himself, not deserving the Lord's body. For this cause many are weak and sickly among you, and many sleep. Let us pray to you. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this broken body bread that represents your broken body and the cup that represents your shed blood. We ask Heavenly Father that all churches will turn in him and turn in him in Jesus' name. Amen. And they bring him up to a place to God, which is in a public place of prayer. And he gave him to drink wine, mainly of milk. But he refused it not. And when they had crucified him, they cut him down, called him lots of wine, which every man had heard. And at the same, at, at was, it was at the third hour, and they crucified him. And the subscription of, the, of his accuser was written over the king of the Jews. And with him, they crucified two thieves, one on the right hand and one on the left. And the scripture was fulfilled, which said, and he said, and he was numbered with his transgressions. And they that passed by railed on him, wagging their heads and saying, that destroyed the temple and build it in three days, save themselves and come down from the cross. Likewise, also the chief priests, marking sin among themselves with the scribes, who saved others, himself he cannot save. Let Christ, the King of Israel, return now from the cross, that we may see and believe. And they that were crucified with him, railed him, railed him, Revived him, Christ. And when the sixth hour was come, there was darkness over the whole land until the ninth hour. And at the ninth hour, Jesus cried with a loud voice, saying, Eloi, Eloi, not my boxing, which is being interpreted, my God, my God, why hast thou forsaken me? And some of them that stood by, when they heard it, said, Behold, he called me out. And one ran to fill a sponge full of vinegar and put it on the reed and gave him to drink, saying, Let alone, let us see that Elijah will come to take him down. And Jesus cried with a loud voice and gave up the ghost. And the veil of the temple was rent in twain from top to bottom. And when the centurion that stood over the 
get there, saw that, he cried out and gave up the ghost. He said, who this man was from God. overlooked anyone. This ends this part of our service. Good afternoon, church. I'd like to thank Brother Ralph Williams and also Brother Aiken for two very outstanding messages on today. I'd also like to thank the congregation for praying for me and my wife as we got sick last couple of weeks. Thank you very much. We have several announcements from the sister congregation. The first one being the 16th of November, Church of Church of Christ. Uh, we read Dear Sisters in Christ, on behalf of the sisters of the 16th of November Street, I am writing to extend this invitation to join us on Friday the 30th on the Ladies Day program, Saturday, March 17th. Our theme is the classic women of God, Romans 12 and 1. Our speaker will be Sister Ivy Murray from the Bellevue Heights Church of Christ in Clarence Heights, Alabama. Registration and company on breakfast, 8.30 to 9 a.m. Program will begin at 9 a.m. and at 11 after that lunch will be served. Next is from the Russell Road Church of Christ, Freeport, Louisiana. The Russell Road um, congregation invites you to be with us on our 18th annual Men's Day Seminar, Saturday, February the 21st. We plan a grand time of fellowship and study. Activities will begin with registration and breakfast at 8.15 a.m. Theme this year, what men meant for evil, God meant for good. Lunch will be served. We hope that you will be with us during the very important study and fellowship. We look forward to participation from Louisiana, Texas, Arkansas, Alabama, and Mississippi. We have a pre-register list here. It will be posted on the bulletin board right at the beginning of the Meeting after this service. We made an in house announcement. I have two cards, both of them are from the Dixie family. It reads In appreciation, having their Church of Christ gratefully acknowledging and thanking you for your kind expressions of sympathy to this meet family. With all our thanks for your thoughtfulness, we really appreciate it. To the Avondale Church of Christ family, on behalf of this meet family, we would like to thank all of you for your thought, thoughtfulness shown during the loss of our mom, wife, wife. May God continue to bless you all to this meet family. Next is Phil. Next is Phil. Can you fill that in again for a brother? Okay, Brother Steele, you can stand for Sister Rebecca Steele. This is from the University of South Alabama. It reads, Dear Lexi, I am pleased to inform you that you have earned a place on the President's Scholars List for your excellent academic performance during the fall of 2017 semester 
As you know, this distinction is limited to students who achieve a grade point average of 4.0 during the full academic semester. This is certainly an accomplishment on which we can be proud. Congratulations on this noteworthy achievement. I wish you continued success in your studies and endeavors at the University of South Carolina. Good job. Also, uh, I have a sweetheart dinner, uh, married couple, February 10th. It's a sign-up list. It's about four. Supposed to be in four, maybe not. But uh, I think it's going to be at 5 p.m. 5 p.m. Saturday, right? Yeah, today is the last day. You're right. Today is the last day. So if you plan on coming, you might want to jot your name down here. I'm going to put it down front, okay? Also, if you open up your bulletin, uh, you'll see on there, well, today is the latest area wide Bible class, February the 4th, will be held here at 3 p.m. Also, if you need your annual contribution, see one of the leading brothers. He'll direct you to where you need to go. And also, if it's not back there, we'll get it for you. Just let us know. But if you check on your envelope, nine times out of ten, it's kept back there, okay? Also, while we added our home planning goal is not in here, no one has said anything about it, but it will be here from starting next week to be $30,000, just like we did last year. So... I think we're off to about, about a $4,000 start, and we're on a good pace right now, so let's just keep the good work up, okay? Also, men's leadership class today, meeting after service. Uh, this time here is set aside for our visitors. Do we have any visitors on my right-hand side? Any visitors on my right-hand side? If you can't have a word to say, you may do so at this time. Any visitors? Any visitors in the mill lot? Any visitors on my left hand? Oh, I see some visitors. That's good, good. We want you to know you are our aunt, guests, uncle, today. If there's anything we can do to make you feel a little more comfortable, please let us know. And we do our very best to accommodate you. But we do have something special for you. You'll only get it here at the Avondale Church of Christ. <laughs> Great God of the universe, it's again your humble servant. Uh, bow before your throne, Father. Father, we come thanking you for your already many blessings. You bless us just from the very visit of this day to come. Thank you for that ultimate blessing of Jesus Christ, the one who came and died and came for the kiss of death, that we might have a right to receive God, be obedient to your word. Thank you for the sermons that were preached here today, praying we would do take our due course in using our everyday lives. For all the things that are transcribed here, Father, we pray that they have been decent in order according to your word. We ask forgiveness for sin, for sin, and if you omission or commission, pray not against the God of the Lord. Pray for us. Also, for the ones who ask for prayer on the way out of prayer list, Father, we ask that you give them the desires of their heart, just as you've been spoken to your word. Now, Father, we ask for traveling grace to go from you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 